Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Eric saint and I'm speaking a little bit lower now because my daughter's trying to sleep in the other room, so shh. But if you've been following this channel along the last several months, you might know that there's this one thing that I've been working towards and is my Master of Sport rank in kettlebell sport. You know, the hashtag road to Master of Sport. And this past weekend, I finally did it. Kind of. Now, up until relatively recently, the only ways to get Master of Sport rank was through long cycle or biathlon, which is both jerk and snatch together. And it was only in the last couple of years where they've offered options for snatch only and even some organizations jerk only options to get a master sport rank. Even now there's a one arm long cycle as well that's offered. And again, this is just for men specific ranks. So for me now that I got master sport rank with snatch only, it's great, it's fun, I'm very, very proud of myself. You know, it's the master sport that I got, but not necessarily the one that I wanted. So the reason why I actually didn't do biathlon this past weekend at the competition was because I had mentioned last time that I had a mole removed from my abdomen. Um, still wasn't quite healed. It still isn't actually. It's still a little bit of an open spot. It was, you know, just a tad infected. And, you know, having taken some time off from doing jerks uh, to let that area heal, you know, even if like, a week prior it was completely healed, you know, I, I had, you know, detrained jerks, so I wouldn't have gotten the result that I originally had intended for. But regardless, not a big deal, so that's why I focus on just doing snatch only. So, yes, I am quite grateful that there is that option nowadays, so otherwise I would have had to just forfeit the entire competition, but luckily I didn't have to. So in my weight class, in order to get Master Sport rank in biathlon, I need 160 points. So each jerk rep is worth one point, and each snatch rep is worth a half point. For snatch only, in order for me to get Master Sport rank, I need at least 144 reps total. So me going into this competition, I knew that about a week ago or so, I did, yeah, I did uh, 10 minutes, 120 reps. So I knew that I was able to do at least 120 reps. Now, when I did the 120 reps, um, remember, when I'm training at home, I'm doing it first thing in the morning before any breakfast or any food, essentially. Now, with this competition, so I had breakfast, I had a snack, I was able to have my Pitargo. Ooh, Pitargo, what's that? Well, if you want to know what that is, if you want me to talk about that, uh, leave a comment below and, you know, that'd be something I could talk about later on. So, I had to do 144 reps. So, for me, the idea was that I went in with a mindset of doing 16 RPM and doing at least 72 reps on the first hand. And since I would have extra time, if I was able to, I would just keep going until I couldn't do any more on my right hand and then switch, go to the left hand. And as you will see in the video coming up now, I think I was about four and a half minutes in, I just stopped at 72 reps here because I knew that I couldn't really handle much more than that. And um, thankfully it didn't burst then, but I did have a pretty large blood blister there that uh, formed shortly after I switched hands. So thankfully I didn't actually do an extra rep, otherwise I might have really risked rupturing that uh, then and there, and that would have definitely impacted um, the, the integrity of the chalk on the kettlebell handle for the, the the next hand. Then towards the end with my second hand here, I definitely slowed down my pace overall a little bit, um, but I ended up doing 73 reps on this hand. So I got a total of 145 reps. Uh, I did you know one more for good luck. Uh, <laughs> I was completely done after this set. I could not have done an extra rep. So overall, yeah, I'm pretty happy with my result. And now we'll just let you enjoy this 10 minute snatch set that I did. Unfortunately, you're not gonna hear the original audio that went along with this just because the radio was blaring in the background and you know, ACDC's Thunderstruck was playing throughout most of the set and I just don't wanna get a claim, a copyright claim from YouTube. So that's why we're just gonna have this stock audio coming up now. And if you stick around at the end of the video, you'll actually see how I celebrated my victory. I'll sign off right now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this, please give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel because my Road to Master of Sport is not yet complete. And there's more coming. So we'll see you next time. Take care.
So this is my celebration. I'm having an entire 18-inch pizza to myself. They can attest to this.